Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic and Live. We bring it to you Fast Electronic. And of course, I wanted to give you guys something kind of a little different today. A lot of people have been asking, hey, I noticed you have a uh, custom Apple network set up there at your home office. Uh, maybe a lot of people want to know how we were able to pull that off, you know, what type of connections. You know, some of you may have the newer Airport Extreme that, you know, this is the latest generation. Some of you may still be using, you know, this is a time capsule, two terabyte. Some of you may even be using, uh, you know, an Express, Airport Express there, base station. So what I want to actually do is show you here uh, how to take all three of these devices and either create one large wireless network, or if you want to just run all of your wireless off of your new Airport Extreme and still have function in your time machine, as well as your Airport Express, we can do that too. And that's kind of the setup that we're going to do here. Uh, the way I actually have my setup is all of my wireless is actually ran through the new 802.11.ac, the new Airport Extreme. Now, I could actually extend my wireless network using the time capsule or using here a base station. Well, I've noticed that, you know, this area I don't actually need to, per se, extend my wireless network as I would just want to create more of the network. So what I've done is I actually have, as you can see here, and this is just set up for demonstration purposes, you can see here we've got the uh, Airport Extreme, the new version, 2013's powered up, and this is my cable that is coming in. This is just from my cable modem. You know, a lot of you have that either from your cable modem or your DSL, and that may be your only connection that you have right now. Okay, that's fine. So let's say that you would like to add a device to that. Well, it makes it real easy if you have the airport utility. I mean, simply, for example, the way we want to integrate, let's say, the time capsule. And you can see here the time capsule, and I'll disconnect this right now, it just has power going to it currently. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn that around. So here's our time capsule, and we'll go ahead and turn around the Airport Extreme, make it a little easier for all of you to see. And we also have our base station here. So we have our three devices. This is the current one that we're running wireless. Let's say we don't want to extend the network, we just want to create a way to get to our time machine backups, which is what we do here. And let's say we're not going to use the base station either to extend the network. Let's say we only want to use it for another location in the room so we could plug in Ethernet to that and have a wired connection if we chose. Now granted that's still wireless from here to there, but nonetheless it would be a wired connection for our user. So that actually Apple makes this real easy to pull this off. So I'm going to show you here with just a couple of Ethernet cables and demo demonstration purposes. I'm going to take one of the LAN ports coming out of the Airport Extreme. I'm actually going to plug just a standard Ethernet cable in there. This happens to be a Cat6 Ethernet cable. And I'm actually going to plug it into the WAN, W-A-N port over here on the time capsule. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in here. Now what we've done here, as you can see, we've got a cable from the LAN port on the Airport Extreme over to the WAN port on the time capsule. You guys can see that clearly there in the video. So we're actually going to go ahead and take one of our, we have a Mac Mini that is plugged in here. And that's hiding out right there. We have a Mac Mini fed to a Thunderbolt display, which is right here beside us. And we're going to actually plug in this cable. This cable here is coming from the Thunderbolt to give us internet connectivity. But instead of plugging in the airport extreme, I'm going to show you as proof that we have connectivity to the time capsule. I'm going to plug that into there. So we have that plugged in. Like I said, don't mind the clutter. This is just for the demonstration purposes here. We can go ahead and kind of move these a little bit out of your way there. And you can see we've got the wand cable, like I said, coming out of the time capsule right here. Goes into a LAN port on the extreme, real simple. And we just have another Ethernet cable going off to our Thunderbolt display, which is right here. So we also have this base station. Well, we're going to put that in another room. So let's say, for example, that we have our other room, here's our power source. Okay, so let me go ahead and reach across here, grab that, we'll go ahead and plug that in. And you can see, that'll take a second there, it's got an orange and a green light, it'll take a second to connect. So we'll go ahead and as well set this over here to the side for right now, because kind of, just a close up here, like we said guys, we have the base station is powered up. This was our airport extreme right here that we were still using, it's powered up. And this was just that single connection coming out of the LAN port, your LAN port, you can see that there, not the WAN port, your LAN port, which is one of the top three. That cable is fed to the WAN port on the time capsule. 
and this was the cable we talked about was the Ethernet that is feeding over to our Thunderbolt. So I just want to give you kind of the closer look there before we jumped over to the airport utility. So let's actually jump over to airport utility and where we can take a look at that. And I've got that brought up here on the Thunderbolt. Hey, you can see here we're now in the uh, airport utility. We'll just open up the uh, airport extreming. See airport express is there. The time capsule is there. We got the dotted line for the airport express. Um, we are on the WLAN. That's just the name of the network that we are connected to here. And the reason for the dotted line is that's connected via wireless and the time can axle time capsule is actually connected via ethernet so we can see there the time capsule network mode is off and we'll get like we talked about why we the reasons we're doing that so clicking there you can see network mode is off for your time capsule and if you look there it's just DHCP that's the name we have you can put any name there for your time capsule and that also it has back to my Mac there as well so you just want to make sure very important that your router mode there is set to off so that's a bridge mode that way you're not double natting your connection so router mode is off on the time capsule jumping over the airport express you can see here for internet it's the same status there except here for network you could either you know extend if you want create a new one we're actually just joining a wireless network that way we can provide an ethernet connection directly from that airport express and airplay is enabled in case we wanted to plug headphones in we're not going to update that now because i've made these changes jumping back the airport just so you can see here we've created the actual wireless network on the airport extreme so you can either extend depending on your setup but for us the airport extreme like we talked about is going to be the only thing transmitting wireless so we're actually using router mode there is dhcp and nat on your airport extreme we're not going to save any of those changes there, but I want to actually just show you here that you've got your Airport Express is connected wirelessly to the Airport Extreme. There's all my clients that are on the Airport Extreme currently, and we can actually look at the Airport Express and see that it is connected, what its signal strength is. We can see it's connected to that WLAN network, which is my network name here, and we can see that it is on the AN band and the signal strength there. Very good connection there as well. So... Yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. This is Ryan with Fast Electronic and Loud, and we will see you on the next episode. And as always, this was brought to you by Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. Thanks for watching.